Hello, friends. Last Sunday, we entered into Holy Week, a privileged time in the church's year to reflect on the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so today, I want to meditate on one particular person from the Passion narrative, specifically Simon of Cyrene. Simon of Cyrene shows up in all three of the Synoptic Gospels, so that's Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And he also is the subject of the fifth station in the Stations of the Cross. Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. Now the first thing we notice about Simon of Cyrene is his name, or rather his nationality of Cyrene. He's not from Judea, he's not from Galilee. Rather, he's from North Africa of all places. The church fathers found this to be very significant and saw him as representative of the Gentiles, those who do not share in God's promises by virtue of their birth, but rather by participating in the life of Christ. Now, how does Simon participate in the life of Christ? By sharing his cross. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12 says, if we suffer with Christ, we will also reign with him. It's through our sufferings in which we share in his cross and participate in Christ's life and resurrection. Now, St. Alphonsus Liguori in his Stations of the Cross says that Simon of Cyrene refuses the cross. Perhaps but something that is clear from the biblical account is that Simon was forced to carry the cross of Christ. He was pressed into service. Such is the case with most of our suffering. For instance, in this time of pandemic, many of us are experiencing spiritual suffering. We're experiencing spiritual malnourishment by not being able to receive the Most Holy Eucharist and not participating in the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. We're also experiencing great material suffering. Many people are dying or at least suffering grave illness. A lot of us are probably worried about the economy and keeping our jobs. And others are lonely due to the social distancing and feel abandoned. All of these sufferings are real and none, of the, and none of these sufferings were chosen by us. Rather, they were forced upon us. However, if you suffer well, you will be a saint. We believe as Catholics that we can offer up our sufferings as prayers. The cross of Christ taught us that suffering is redemptive. So, this very difficult Holy Week, I challenge you to see yourself as a Simon of Cyrene. Do not refuse the cross of Christ, but bear it patiently, without murmuring or complaining. And, if you do so, your silent act of love will console the heart of our afflicted Lord. Jesus, that I love you.